What's happening, everyone? It's Abdallah here, bringing you guys another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee on Nintendo Switch. Today's episode is all about the Mankey Master Trainers and the Primeape Master Trainer as well. What we're going to be doing is showing you guys exactly how to beat them relatively easy without the use of any candy. We're going to show you the locations as well. So, thanks for coming. Thanks for enjoying the series thus far. If you guys have missed the previous episodes of how we've beaten every single Master Trainer up until this point in the Pokedex and planning on beating every single one in the game, by all means, smash that like button, share the video with a friend. Let's go! So, as you guys can see, the Mankey Trainer is right over here to the south. We have the Pokemon Daycare. And to the north, we have the Cerulean City, as you guys have seen right over this way. Cerulean City Pokemon Center. We could say hi to Misty right over here, and then we're going to float on downwards. So the Mankey Master Trainer is indeed a very intense battle. It's, uh, you're going to need a relatively strong Mankey for this one, and I don't feel that you're going to be able to do it with a random Mankey off the, off the streets in the wild, so... Anyway, uh, before we jump into the Mankey, I guess I'm going to show you guys exactly what my Mankey looks like so that you guys can potentially replicate and take a look at all this, uh, the stats. So, Mankey is more along the lines of a physical attacker with relatively low special defense. I've got a docile one over here. Again, nature doesn't necessarily matter uh, as of right now. Of course, you can get an adamant one, you can get a bold one, you can get a whole bunch of other ones. Uh, but anyway... Uh, what I'm going to be doing right now is really focusing on two moves, and that's going to be Bulk Up, which allows us a defensive and attack stat boost in one turn, which is really good. And then I'm also going to focus on Outrage, which is also a move that, ironically enough, Mankey can learn. He can learn a Dragon-type move. Super cool, right? So out of all of his moves in his move pool, I felt that Outrage would be the strongest, like, one hit. If you take a look at Brick Break, that could potentially be a little less strong. Uh, it is same type attack bonus. Karate Chop is pretty good, especially if you want to use the crits landing more easily. Uh, countered up with the Focus Energy attack, so those also do very well. So I put Substitute on here because maybe we might use it uh, a little bit later. Who knows? But Bulk Up and Outrage is really what we're going to be doing over here. The enemy Mankey has a speed stat of 124. So you can see that our Mankey at level 97 over here has 203. So we're obviously going to outspeed it. But the enemy Mankey does have a lot of awakening values in defense and attack. So he's going to be a lot stronger than us. So, regardless, it's going to be a fun one. Let's jump on in and see exactly how we do. Come on, Mankey. Let's go. Let's take us home, big boy. All right, so here we go, facing off against enemy Mankey. The only thing that I need to do in this battle is get one bulk up up. Bulk up up. <laughs> I have to use bulk up once in order for us to have enough damage threshold to get the two-hit KO on Outrage. And luckily for us, Outrage can be two to three hits, depending on uh, RNG. So here we go, bulk up first turn. The enemy Mankey has three moves, Focus Energy, Karate Chop, and uh, Fury Swipes. So we have to be careful about that. If he goes Focus Energy first, he's gonna start critting us nonstop, which is really cheeky. And it's been one of the age old combos in the history of Pokemon. Using Focus Energy, it doesn't attack one turn, but what it does is it gives you uh, the ability for your crits to land a lot more easy. And since Karate Chop has the innate ability of focus uh, of crits landing more easily, you're going to crit a lot with that combo. So yeah, Focus Energy and Slash also works wonders, but as you guys can see over here, we got some pretty good rolls on our attacks, and he was only able to do one Karate Chop and then Focus Energy. It should have been the other way around. And sometimes, sometimes you'll get lucky and he'll act exactly like this, and other times he'll do focus energy and then he'll crit you every single time and you'll end up losing. So anyway, as you guys can see over there, what we did was bulking up once in order to get the threshold so that it does like 60% damage, which is a guaranteed 2 KO uh, rather than a 3 KO. So we're good. Mankey Master, done and done. So, very happy about that one. Uh, what we need to do now is we need to head on over to the uh, caves, the Cerulean Caves, and Mankey really only needs a thousand more experience. Okay, so now Mankey is officially leveled up. This is a beautiful thing. Mankey's ev uh, going to evolve into Primeape, and we should be ready to go. Now, I'm afraid, guys. I'm afraid of this Primeape battle. 
because he's got a move set that I can mimic if I wanted to waste a heart scale. But I'm not expecting you guys to waste heart scales. They're relatively hard to find. You can only get like maybe one, two of them per day. And they're really only used for Pokemon that you want to uh, maybe use competitively. Access their move pool. So he wants to use Rage? Absolutely not. That's the worst move in the game. Um, but yeah. So here we go. We are ready to go. Let's go escape out of here. We're going to go to Route 11. Route 11 is where we're going to find ourselves a Prime Ape. Wow, Route 11. Yeah, so let's go take a look. Bag. Uh, we're gonna go flying. According to my notes, Route 11 is... Route 12, 8, 6, 11. Okay, so Route 11 here. I guess we're gonna fly from uh, Vermilion City and then go from there. So, from the looks of it, it is going to be inside the little, um, the section where you can look in the binoculars. So, let's grab Dragonite and see where we can go. Alright, so party, Dragon Knight. Mr. Mime. Forgive me! Oh, look at Drowsy. <laughs> uh, drowsy is Drowsy, and I am Sneezy. Nice to meet you. Okay, you, Primate Master Trainer, ready, go. So, I'm... I don't know how I'm going to battle this guy. He's got Taunt, he's got Brick Break, he's got Counter. Those are his moves. And Counter is insane. That's the move that I was talking to you guys about, uh, where you can use a Heart Scale, and he knows Counter from the very beginning. So you can do that if you want to, and then you can Counter Brick Break and potentially win. So, there's that. Substitute will help me once if he uses counter. I can get a free sub, and then I can proceed to bulk up. Karate Chop is not going to help me. So, I'm going to... <laughs> I'm going to teach him something. I don't know if this is going to work, but let me see. So, check this out. So, the thing about enemy Primeape is he will taunt you so that you're forced to attack. And if you're forced to attack, he's going to force counter you. And then counter, what it does, is it deals damage uh, based off of the amount of damage that you give him. It'll like double that. So I'm gonna go, you can't learn Fire Blast? I thought you could learn Fire Blast. What can you learn, dude? You can learn Hyper Beam? I mean, Hyper Beam's great and all, but we need another move. I, I totally thought that you can learn um, I totally thought that he can learn the uh, the other moves, but like in this game, it's not like he can. He the only dude. I thought he can learn thunder at least. Let's see, thunder punch you can learn. Thunder bolt you can learn, which is kind of cool, and thunder. But you can't learn fire. Uh, can I learn fire blast? No. Yeah, I mean, he can learn Fire Punch, which is okay, but he can also learn Thunderbolt. So I'm gonna go for Thunderbolt. I know what you're thinking. Abdallah, what are you doing teaching him a special move um, instead of Karate Chop? You might as well go for Karate Chop and try for the, uh, the, the luck, the lucky crits. But we're gonna try for Thunderbolt. I might get a Paralysis, who knows. I was hoping that he can learn, um, learn Flamethrower. But it doesn't appear that way, so I'm kind of sad about that. He can learn Hyper Beam too, but... Anyway, let's see what we can do. I'll mix, I'll mix up my strategy a little bit later if I have to, uh, but I just don't feel that I can do Toxic Stall. I just don't feel I can do that. Maybe I can. Because he's got Taunt and he's got Counter too, so... Toxic Stall and then... Thunderbolt. Oh, dude. Oh, we'll try that. We'll try it. Anyway, here we go. This is my first time seeing this. We're gonna we're gonna mess around and see what he's got. So I'm gonna try for the bulk up right off the bat. He used Brick Break. 
which is 50% damage plus. I'm gonna go for sub right now, hoping that he goes for counter. He used taunt, and I can't set up a sub after taunt. <laughs> so GG's. Alright, so now I'm gonna go Outrage, and I'm gonna see how much that does. And he goes Brick Break again. I'm gonna survive it. Okay, maybe I can win this one. Not right now, of course, but you know, if I get one bulk up set, I can potentially hit him with two Outrages, if it's max max damage. If it's min max, I don't think that I'll do it, but let, let's see what we got here. And Brick Break is relatively strong too, like it's, it's a good move, but like, there's Outrage, come on man. So here we go, I'm gonna bulk up once. Big Taunt, that's fine, that's, that's a free bulk up, we are good. So that means that I can potentially get a three turn, or he's gonna go counter. That's why I packed Thunderbolt. So now it's a 50-50 switch. If he if he clicks on counter and I go to Outrage, I lose. So that's why I brought Thunderbolt. Here we go. Oh dang it! That's a that's a miss on my part. Owie! Thunderbolt paralysis, please. It's trash damage. Oh, big paralysis. Okay, that's decent. We we're kinda hoping on that. Now I'm just gonna go for the outrage, or I can't do sub because I'm taunted. I can go. I can go bulk up one more time. Here's, let's play this out. If I go bulk up one more time, that's going to potentially uh, allow me to survive one more attack. Yeah, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Wait, no, I can't bulk up after the taunt. Ah, no, forget that. I have to outrage or T-Bolt. If he goes counter, I lose. Paralyzed. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. Okay, well, I'm stuck. I'm stuck in um, Outrage right now, so that's nothing's... I just need to survive one hit. Do not counter. Brick Break. That's GG's. Oh! Oh! No! Come on! How? Why is that so strong? Max damage roll? Are you crazy? No, man. I thought I would do it that time. Let me check this out. Watch, watch, watch. Okay, so here we're gonna we're gonna bank on hacks right now. Sub is not gonna help us out. Sub is definitely not gonna help us, and there's no other moves that I can see over here that he has access to that'll I mean hyper beam, cool, it's very strong. <laughs> Whatever, let's just put hyper beam on him. It's going to be strong against him, trust me, because his special attack, or special defensive stat on the enemy is not that good. So if I'm able to bust that out, like this big old attack, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Mixing up our strategy midway through. I just need that freeze, dude. If I get that freeze, I'm good. And if he wants to counter me, go ahead. I'm not going to do it. Get frozen, kid. Well, I need it. I need it. I only got two chances for it. That's it. Those are my two shots. If I don't get it, then I lose. GG's. Wow. Alright, so that's what you have to do. You gotta fish for that freeze. And then once I get the freeze, what? Set up a sub? What am I doing here? Get a free hit, set up a sub. Okay. So here we go. Rather than banking on the freeze, we're gonna... We're gonna succumb to the... Using of the heart scale in order to learn counter. It's just what it has to be done. Uh, I don't really want to rely on you guys to uh, say, hey, you know what, like, bank on the freeze and then you automatically win. 
It's kind of a cop-out if you think about it, but it is a budget way of doing it, yes. If you guys are looking for the guaranteed way of winning, unfortunately, you're going to have to use a heart scale for this one. Unless you spend all of your time with speed candy, attack candy, defense candy, getting this primate up and going, uh, you can absolutely do that. But we're going to go just based off of this. So this is my last heart scale. I got to start farming some more. But we're going to get counter on board. And uh, we are absolutely going to be switching out substitute with counter. Yeah, I know, Gizmo. We're going to win. All right, so now that we've got counter, we should be in a better position. Now, counter will be good because we've got to do one of two things. And I'll show you this really quick. Let me, let me go back to that place where we were. This can go one of two ways. Uh, luckily for us, we're going to make it count. So I can start off with an ice punch through the taunt because I think you can use counter on taunt. Or, you know, I just start off with counter. That's kind of what I should do. You know, I've never been in the situation where I had a counter up against taunt, so I don't really know if that works that way. Like, if you have first turn uh, taunt, or like, if you're taunted, can you use counter? I guess that's the real question. So, anyway, I'll let you guys to do uh, debate that in the comment section below. Some people say yes, some people will say no. Uh, so it doesn't matter. Let's just do this. I'm done with this level. Primeape, you got you got the treatment, dude. Primeape got the treatment for counter. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to start off with counter. If he hits me with that brick break, awesome. Then that means that I can counter it. But I hope that that's enough damage to KO him, potentially. If it's not, then I need to punch him and then counter. Hoping that... It works that way while I'm through taunt. So let's try this. We're gonna try the uh, the counter. Okay, so taunt can't. Now we're gonna find out if I can use counter. Oh, I can use counter through the taunt. Okay, so now we found that out. So there we go. I'm gonna counter that, and then we are going to dish it back to him. It's not gonna be enough. So I am absolutely going to need a bigger hit. All right, I'm gonna need a bigger hit. Check this out. I'm gonna need a bigger hit and a counter. So here's what I'm gonna do in order to max out on that one. So we're gonna go bag. I'm gonna go TM case. We're gonna teach him Brick Break. That is the second strongest attack, I would say. Uh, I don't know what Brick Break is. Here we go. Instead of Ice Punch. So here's what I'm going to count on uh, happening. So Bulk Up is really not going to work unless he hits me with a Taunt. And that would be pretty good. We've seen it before, where I can do bulk up first turn, he does the karate chop, or I'm sorry, he does the brick break, and then his second turn, he uses taunt. I've seen that happen. And if that happens, you actually win because you get an extra turn. So here's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping for taunt first turn, and I could brick break. And then I'm gonna counter his brick break and then potentially win. With min max damage, of course. So here, let's go brick break. He used brick break, and that's game. That's GG's. So I can't really do anything if he uses a brick break. He needs a taunt first turn. Does he know that I don't have a, a setup move? Oh no, I do have a setup move in bulk up. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Dude, you're supposed to taunt first. What are you doing? All right. Here we go. Brick break. Yo, taunt me, dude. What are you doing? 
Maybe I need sub. I need my moveset. He's a computer. This guy. Taunt me. That's a free hit that I need. There we go. Okay. So he uses Taunt. It gives me the free damage of Brick Break, which is same type attack bonus. It'll do a good one-fourth. Uh, so now we are going to counter up. And this should be enough. To KO. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Give me it all, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So, yes. You're gonna need, in order to do this one, at least in my opinion, you're going to need to use a heart scale. But how? Your primate is more powerful than any I'd seen before. You're truly worthy of the title primate master. Okay, so that was a little interesting. So, like I said earlier, you can't take, on a normal primate, against this one, you can't take more than one brick break. So you have to have a little bit of luck involved when it comes to the taunt, and then surviving that next brick break. So. You guys will have to pick and choose like how you're going to have enough damage. You can probably have a Primeape with lower defense than mine, but is able to survive the one Brick Break. And if you can do so, and maybe survive on like 10 HP, all of that health that you're taking from him will be returned back from the counter. So, do you need a level 99 one? No. Can you be okay with like a level 70 to level 80 one? I'm sure you can. As for the Mankey one, uh, probably the same thing. I think it's overkill, but anyway, I'm glad that we're done with that because that was an ordeal and a half. I, I set out saying I didn't want to say that you have to use the heart scale. I'm sure maybe some other ways of doing it, um, and you have to be really lucky. I was fishing for some ice punch freezes where you can sub afterwards and then bulk up and then bulk up and bulk up and then just hit him with another ice punch or an outrage. You can do that, but there's a lot of luck involved with it. Especially if you don't have time for it. But anyway, that's the Prime Ape episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys did in the comment section below. What moveset did you use? And I'm looking forward to reading all those. So scroll through those and uh, see what you got. But anyway, oh man, that one is over with. I got to go farm for some more heart scales. So that we can absolutely get some more. And potentially use them in future episodes if we need to. It is a last resort. Just like using candy. I don't want you guys to grind up a whole bunch of candy and then use them on a master trainer that you only are going to do one time so i think that that's a waste of resources but anyway thanks for being here you guys are awesome we'll see you on the next one join me very soon before you know it uh if you guys have some time you can find my newest video there playlist here recommendations there hit that subscribe button so you're updated on the latest and greatest pokemon content on nintendo switch and look forward to pokemon sword and shield content very very soon other than that become a member you'll have exclusive access to the Abdala Nation emoji and the members only game night that we do so it's a fun time. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. I got it. Next one. Take care.